Unit Five: The Stolen Generations: An Australian Tragedy. Read about it. Sheila Humphreys is a successful artist and a mother of eight. Now in her seventies, she spends her days painting and telling stories about her life. Sheila's childhood was miserable due to a failed government policy. Her parents were too poor to raise a large family. When Sheila was four, they took her to a children's home. Believing she would have a better future there, but her life at the children's home was intolerable. She was made to do the laundry and a lot of housework. When she was eight, her parents took her home again. However, just three months later, the police came and pulled her away. Then Sheila spent the rest of her childhood at the children's home. During this time, she was treated like a slave and was never educated. Why did such a tragedy happen? The reason is that Sheila's family were Indigenous Australians. It was the racial policy that tore Sheila's family apart. If they had been white people, their lives would have been different. Sadly, stories like Sheila's are common across Australia. Thousands of Indigenous children were taken away from their parents between 1909 and 1969. These children are known as the Stolen Generations. In the early 1900s. The Australian government decided to separate Indigenous children from their families. This policy was implemented to protect them and to keep Australia a pure white nation. Indigenous Australians were sent away to live in settlements, which were like prison camps. Children were kept in institutions, and they would receive severe punishments even for the slightest things, such as speaking their native languages. Children with pale skin were adopted by white families and never saw their parents again. Their parents were given jobs to do. Men did physical labor, and women worked as servants. They were provided with a little food in exchange for a lot of tiring work. The children of the stolen generation suffered enormously. They felt ashamed to be indigenous people and had a low level of education. Cases of physical, emotional, and sexual abuse were common among these children. Many indigenous children became depressed or had mental problems, which continued into their adult lives. Some even committed suicide. As for the parents, it was heartbreaking to be separated from their beloved children. Many families were destroyed by this cultural disaster, which still has lingering impacts on Australian society today. The stolen generations represent human rights abuses on a scale that is beyond belief. The discriminatory policy has resulted in numerous horrible stories, as well as the tragic loss of indigenous cultural knowledge. Unfortunately, unfair racial policies toward indigenous people were not unique to Australia. First Nations children in Canada and Native American children in the United States had also been discriminated against and removed from their homes. If people hope the world becomes a better place. It is everyone's responsibility to ensure that people around the world can get fair treatment. Therefore, people must learn to respect one another, regardless of race or culture, and make sure no child has to go through what Sheila experienced all those years ago.